Hello there, I'm Bob and this is Let's Get Crafty. I'm just going to give you the edited highlights of what happened. Um, if you saw my last video, I was playing hardcore mode because I'm hardcore um, in Minecraft, which is the game we're looking at now. So if you're not really interested in Minecraft, there's probably not much for you here. Uh, if you're interested in Minecraft, there's probably not much for you here as well because uh, this didn't turn out too well. This is why I'm giving you the edited highlights. It basically deposits me, it deposited me on freaking Waterworld, right? I ran... Um, when I died at the last time, I uh, I lasted a little bit in hardcore mode. Forgot that you know it was hard, and made the mistake of tangling with a zombie when I had like one health bar, um, or one health health point left. So uh, I at the last end of the last video, I did a random seed, random uh, world creation, and it gave me this place. Right, so here I am heading for the nearest tree, which is miles away. So let's let's just cut that uh, a little bit ahead. Skip to the end. Yeah, so um, as you see, much later I arrived on the bountiful island that contained one bloody tree. Uh, but now I have wood. Yes, I've got wood. Um, but what to do with it? Because it's only freaking one tree's worth. And looking out on the horizon, there's nothing there either. This is really the worst, uh, let's say the most challenging biome uh, and seed I've ever seen. Um, oh, it didn't help as well because I just because of the mighty amounts of H2O, I guess uh, it kept glitching and showing me the far any with the far distance turned on. It kept just showing me stuff like this. So um, I had to decide what the hell I was gonna do. So I think the only thing I could really do was just keep going. So more swimming. Uh, let's just. So anyway, at this point, I had a brainwave. Um, I'd make my own island with blackjack and hookers and yeah, it's an old joke. Um, yeah, so um, because I realised that I had enough wood to make myself uh, a crafting table and a boat to find dry land. Yes, and I named the island Bobtonia. See, freaking genius. I just wish I'd thought about half an hour earlier. I wouldn't have to keep skipping ahead in this video. So, I crafted a boat and I figured, oh yeah, dry land will just be around the corner now. You can tell from my voice I was kind of wrong. So I'm just making myself, uh, I figured the best thing to do was make myself a, uh, a pickaxe, a mining axe, because, you know, it could be a weapon, it could be, you know, mining, it could be whatever I wanted it to be. Uh, it could be my friend, like Wilson, from that movie with the guy from Big in it. Um, because at this stage I really was feeling like some sort of castaway. So I also had the great idea of trying to conserve wood, because this time there isn't any, uh, by, oh, bugger, there we go. It still hurts even seeing that now, by <laughs> trying to pack up the crafting table, and of course the sea has it now. So anyway, I jumped in my little boat, no, named the Rubbadub 2, and went looking for dry land. Except there was none. This is still speeded up and look, nothing on the bloody horizon. This continued for some time. Let's do a jump cut. And then I got to watch a sunset, which was nice. I'm not going to make you sit through it. It was a beautiful moment. And then it was dark. So now even may, even if I make landfall, it's a bad idea because it's going to be full of zombies and crazy things. And of course, we're still glitching. So uh, yeah, I continued on, uh, hoping that I wouldn't fall off the horizon. Until, as if by magic, land appeared. Land ho! And of course, there was a bloody creeper on it. Oh look, I'm going to go off the edge of the earth. No, no, I'm not. It's just glitchy. And there's a guy in a pink t-shirt that I'd never seen before, so I said, oh, I'm going to go have a look at him. That was a mistake. 
That was the first mistake. The second was the fact that I don't even know he's got a mask. I've never seen that good before. It's like a some sort of weird half skeleton, half Mammy voice wearing pink t-shirt guy. So I ran and hid from the guys and that didn't work. So I just kept swimming for my life. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Oh, land. So at this point, I was still trying to make a go of it. Um, glitching to hell. No wood, except for that tree over there in the distance. Um, so I had this bright idea of trying to make my own little... Oh, by the way, that's the seed. In case you want to generate your own hellish water world. Uh, there you go. Um, I'll leave that up there for a minute. Uh, yeah, there's a creeper. So it's a really bad idea going over there. Oh, there's seeds. I can eat them. Because I'm going to... Uh, my health isn't fantastic. Oh, no, it isn't too bad now. But uh, Anyway, I had the great idea of trying to dig out a hole here. And then I figured, oh, wait, I have nothing to light it up with. So uh, I'll go and fashion some sort of um, furnace and I can make charcoal. That, however, didn't exactly go to plan, as you can see, when I did something really stupid and nearly drowned myself. And after all that, once I'd made a furnace, I realised I'd no bloody wood to burn, it, to, to burn it to make charcoal, which meant I couldn't make any torches, so the whole thing was a complete waste of time. A bit like this video. Oh god, drown myself. So I sat there thinking, what the hell do I do? Do I just jump off a cliff or something? And I said, no, I'm gonna try my best. So hang on, let's just get to the island. All the exciting stuff happens on the island. Just like it did in the last. Okay, well, so, there is the island, there's the tree, and there was a ginormous amount of bad guys. There's a lovely sunrise, making it all worthwhile. So, I now had my wood. Unfortunately, I'd left my furnace back in the island. No, oh, it's a zombie. It's a zombie villager. Oh, he's in my face. He's on fire. I my, my thing stopped working. I've run out of... Oh, now, it, now I'm on fire. That's no good. Okay, into the water. So that could have gone better. Oh, there's someone firing at me now. Jesus. Oh, I think that was him dying and the, uh, the, his, his bits falling off into the water. And there's a freaking spider after me. Let's drown it. It can freaking swim! <sighs> Where's there a ginormous glass and a piece of paper when you need one? Okay, I have half a bar left. I'm going to go to the slightly safer looking island over here. Using my wood for ballast. So okay, let's let's jump ahead a little bit. Okay, so here we go. I've got a tree. I've got a grassy knoll. Um, I'm trying to make go of it. Don't know what the hell I'm doing at this stage. I have half a bar of energy left. I have four chicken sticks. Or four uh, chicken legs. And my little dude here looks really confused. I don't blame him. So, waste a couple of uh, pieces of wood on a crafting table. And build myself some tools to prolong the agony. Let's skip this. Okay, so I got to chopping. Uh, again, at this stage, I, you know, I was saying, right, I'm going to make a go of this.
So I said, right, let's make let's make this my home base. At that stage, I really didn't know what I was doing. I was kind of looking for seeds, I think. Or I was going to be swatting imaginary e enemies because my brain had fried. That's just the impossibility of this level. So, figured, dig down, get some get some stone, um, make myself another furnace, get some charcoal, because I kept some proper wood this time. And I tried to be smart, I said, oh yeah, I'll uh, make the uh, the stone axe as soon as I get, or the stone uh, pickaxe as soon as I get three pieces of luck. But then I realised that you can only get feckin' stone, uh, proper stone, from uh, by actually using an axe in the first place, or using a pickaxe in the first place. A mining pick, whatever you want to call it. So I had to go back to my crafting table and do the necessary, which is waste some more wood uh, on a tool that I would use once, well actually twice, to get the two remaining pieces of stone I needed and then I'd switch to a stone one. At that stage I think my brain had decided to end it all because uh, I'd forgotten that I couldn't land, because I, I fell a tiny bit too hard and died it. So there you go. Uh, that was a mercy killing, I think. I think subconsciously I just wanted to get it over with. So I'm going to go back to the uh, original recording now and show you just my next, uh, my little preview for the next video. Let's just hope it's that. Okay, fingers crossed that it's not bloody water world. Oh, that's better. Oh, and there's food. I like these odds. Oh, lots of walking rashers and bacon. Lots of trees to hide it. Oh, this is just paradise compared to that last one. And there's a cow! Alright, folks. Um, This bodes well. Oh, my God, really high trees. This bodes well, so uh, hopefully I'll have a lovely, lovely video for you next time. As always, thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.